what is up everybody and welcome back to another Unprofessionally Unbox. I am one of your hosts, Joe Gigatti. Are there any other hosts? I don't know. It's been a while. But today, I'm gonna get my hands on some Golden Girls. What? But today, I'm gonna eat some Golden Girls. That isn't right either. Roll the intro. <laughs> It took me like three stores to find this because it's selling out everywhere. Exclusive to Target are Funkos. Golden Girl Funkos. As you can see there, it's a Target exclusive. I think people are picking these up everywhere and then reselling them on eBay for a lot more money. I picked up three of these boxes for myself, one to do on the channel here, one to keep for myself, and then one as a gift for somebody. I'm not saying who. I'm not saying who. Funko the Golden Girls Tasty Treat. Fun to eat. I think this is one of the first cereals in a long time I've actually seen a prize inside the box. But do you really consider it a prize inside the box when each box is $7.99? Yes, $7.99 for only seven ounces of cereal. And a little, little mini, mini Funko Pop. It's got a little maze on the back so that way when you're eating your cereal just like Saturday morning when you're in your underwear watching the cartoons or maybe you're watching the Golden Girls back in the day, you can eat your cereal and play on this maze right here. The front of the box has all the Golden Girl characters in Funko Pop form. But I mean, look at this. It's blue. It's blue Funkos. You think they're Golden Girls. There would be some kind of golden cereal. I mean, I know they're all Funkos, but you think they'd at least have like some golden yellow color? Only makes sense. You screwed the pooch, Funko. Let's open this thing up and see if it's worth the $7.99 price tag. Unfortunately, each of the boxes that I got and all the stores that I went to were somewhat crushed a little bit. None of them were in perfect shape. Oh, that's blue. And stuck to the side of the cereal was the Rose Funko Pop. This is what people are going crazy over. Ah, look at little Betty White over here. Is she edible? No. I don't recommend licking a Golden Girl. Let's see if the cereal's actually edible. Smells like cardboard. I put my milk in second because I'm not a psychopath. I'm gonna give it a minute. I like mine like halfway, somewhat crunchy, little bit soggy. Yeah, starting to smell like Ikea. All right, bottoms up. It's as if, well, let me explain it this way. Have you ever went to a grocery store and they have their brand Fruit Loops? It's like, if you like Fruit Loops, try us, that brand. If you took all the blue ones out of that one and put it in a box of cereal, that's what this is. It's like I'm chewing on croutons that are slightly flavored like blueberry, or not even blueberry, like a blue raspberry. Mm-mm. If you're gonna pick one of these up for $7.99, I would recommend, I guess, not opening the box, or if you do open it, I wouldn't eat the cereal. Open it carefully from the top, take out the rose figure, display it somewhere, maybe glue the box back together so you can display it. Or you can just take the cereal out all together and glue the box back, and you can feed the cereal to your dog. No, don't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't even give it to your dog. So I know these are hard to find and they're selling out of Targets everywhere, but I'm gonna leave a link below for a site called BrickSeek. What BrickSeek does is it's able to tell the inventory for each different Targets by the SKU and tell you if they have any in stock. Sometimes it'll say low stock, it'll tell you out of stock, or if there's plenty at the store. Now this isn't 100% accurate, but I'd say it works like 90% of the time for me. And that other 10% of the time when it says it's in stock and I can't find it at the store, I'm pretty sure some employees are hiding stuff in the back so they can buy it for themselves later. If you too like the Golden Girls, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more from us, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. You've got a friend in me. You, wait, that's not the theme song to Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. That's it. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down a road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. And if I threw